Welcome all. Today I will review the Marvel Beginning Series 1 die card X-Men. So all X-Men characters. Uh, and I will walk you through it. Uh, there are 45 cards in total of it. You could uh, have a hit ratio if you uh, open the packs one, uh, one out of two. Um, the first one is this one is the, the Angel. Here you see the back of it. <coughs> Here we have armor. And what I liked a lot about these cards is that the front part is more the, the old fashioned, uh, the retro uh, image. And the back is more the modern look of that current, of that uh, character. Here we have the beast, for example, and a very old one. And this is the modern looking beast. So for everybody that likes the comics and likes X-Men, you can have multiple different kinds of images that you would like if you're more an old fashioned image collector then you should go for the front part and if you're more uh, a modern cat, uh, collector you can uh, you can show your back uh, of that here for example you have cannonball <coughs> really looking great really nice cards all the x-men chamber look at this the flames getting out of his mouth cloak real cool and what i said 45 cards in total colossus where they had the nice die cut out of the total card the cyclops this is logical the modern variant dagger i really like what they have done also we have the triangle here in the middle to die cut out of it and uh, this quality of the cards are really really good i really like it the corners are great the cutouts are great bachelor and i like uh, yeah did you see multiple things of the character Unfortunately, eh, there is no space for any information about that character, Emma Frost. But uh, if you have the Marvel Beginnings uh, set, then there is enough other uh, cards in that set that uh, provides you more and more information. And there is also uh, the uh, Break to Issue cover. Uh, whoa, sorry to interrupt. This is really nice. Look at that gambit throwing the cards really cool this is the modern with the stick what about the the marvel breakthrough issue cover you have all the covers of marvel books that were in the past that is also a nice add-on on this uh, set i think that you can collect the cards covers and if you have also the comics you can uh, showcase them uh, next to each other. I think that is uh, nice if you have both. Yeah. So if you want to see that, then you have to go to my other video about it. Iceman. And here Jean Grey. Look at that. Old fashioned little lady. Really nice. Jubilee. Look at the difference. This is how I remember Jubilee. This is a total different kit. But hey. Nevertheless, the cards are really good. They are from uh, Upper Deck. What I maybe already mentioned. The... 2011 and this is the 
full insert set long shot narrow I think the more you're familiar you are with X-Men you probably know all the, the characters I only know the famous characters like for example Namor is also uh, look at the difference Nightcrawler good memories about the yeah the really looking modern art I haven't read the modern version so I'm more recognizable with the, the old fashioned uh, looks uh, of this so what I said uh, the quality of the cards are very good I think this is um, nice to have um, this kind of cards in your collection I think um, it's quite hard to get them maybe on eBay you can uh, easily obtain them but I've obtained them here local Professor X Psylocke, always nice Rogue yeah, Real cool to have that uh, as an X-Men Storm Sunfire Thunderbird Nice Real Indian look Warpet Oh this one is special Everybody likes this one Wolverine Real cool Oh look at this Also the back is very cool Nice art in very good condition I'm really glad to have this one so the things that you see is are on the top loaders the cards are in real good X23 never heard of it but looks danger dangerously uh, and is that a, a villain of uh, Wolverine maybe I thought that name was differently, but oh, nice card. And the last one, Xorn. So these are all the 45 cards, where this one is, uh, I think, the most outstanding. Yeah, some of them uh, I'm not familiar with, so uh, not all the top char characters are in it, but. Um, for X-Men, uh, if you're an X-Men fan, uh, I think you would really like this one. And, uh, yeah, so if you want this to, for uh, to collect, this is the Marvel Beginnings Series 1 uh, out of 2011. And, uh, well, I'm happy with this. Uh, thanks uh, for watching. Uh, please subscribe, leave a comment push the like button um, if you want to have any discussion leave a comment and uh, I will react on that uh, uh, thanks for watching bye bye